There's a future where you're in charge. The Pitch from Afterpay, one of several installment payment companies targeting millennials with the option to buy anything from jewelry to clothing now and worry about paying for it mostly later. No credit check, no interest charges, and in Canada, no late fees either. You know, the mission and vision that we stand for being, you know, fundamentally the opposite of a traditional credit provider, you know, one that will always be interest free. Shoppers sign up for an Afterpay account with a credit or debit card. When they make a purchase, they pay 25% up front. Then every two weeks, 25% more is automatically deducted until the purchase is paid off. If there are insufficient funds and a payment is missed, Afterpay disables the account and tries to contact the shopper, but it says it doesn't use collection agencies. Customers are overwhelmingly responsible. My daughters love the prints. Retailers pay Afterpay a fee to take on the risk, as much as 6% of the purchase price. Providing flexibility, giving access to a different way for a customer to pay in a time where it could be quite challenging for them, seemed like a small cost to us in the long run. Vancouver-based Native Shoes has offered Afterpay online since it launched in Canada in late August. It says about 1 in 20 customers use it. We see that the average transaction actually increases about 25% with the when Afterpay is used. If people could ring up... This certified financial planner says retailers are likely banking on customers spending more to offset the fees. You know, that's a little unsettling when you think about it. And she says managing bi-weekly payments could add extra stress and lead to other debt. If your spending money has been reduced so much, are you going to start resorting to credit at that point to get through for groceries and gas and whatever it is that you need to buy? Welcome to the future. Potential consequences to consider that could attach a cost to installment payments, even if companies offering them say there isn't one. Jacqueline Hansen, CBC News, Toronto.